Oh my word, that light is fantastic. Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so you've watched part one of the Da Vinci Flyer Mark II uh, drawings. Uh, you've watched part two of the construction. And now you're gonna watch part three, the covering. And what am I gonna use but our cover? It's, in this case, the plastic film. And this is the colour. Look at that. Look at that. Fabulous. Uh, I've picked this because it's kind of like antique looking. It's not yellow, it's like a burnt orange. Orangey colour anyway. So I'll bend it down and you can uh, see what I'm looking at. Hopefully you can see. I'm sure you can. Um, if you're not sure, if you've not used a particular covering before, read the instructions. They're quite um, thorough on all of these uh, manufacturers' films. Um, I've made the desk as um, dirty. No, I've made the desk as dust-free as possible. And this is the wing. Uh, she's ready to cover. Before you cover anything, um, go over it really, really thoroughly. Every joint, make sure it's smooth. You don't want any little pin prick sticking up. A little pin prick sticking up will look like a mountain once it's covered. So make sure everything is absolutely smooth. Something I always do, apart from sanding all the edges, I also sand all the sides, all the angles. Uh, just a light sand, just to take off that hard edge. Just something I do, just make sure it's a nice smooth finish. So first thing to do is to cover the bottom of the wing. Now you've probably seen me covering other projects on my channel. So it's not difficult. I wonder if I can get this out of one width. Let's have a look. Oh, it's close. But yes, I can. Look at that. That's good. The iron's heating up. 120 degrees F. C, beg your pardon. 120 degrees C. And I'm going to cut out. I want a reasonable amount there to try and... The more you have here, the easier it is to get a nice smooth finish, but you've got to be able to grab it. I think I can get away with that. So first thing, oh, the other thing to make sure is you've got the sticky side facing up the way you want. Cover the elevator separately. So it's, and the way I do that is just to stick the blade in and sort of scoop it up. Yep, there we go, it's the blank side, so I'm correct. So first of all, I'm gonna cut that off. that over okay. this is an element of static when you do this you can always use the static to do one last sweep of the table see if there's anything there Little test you can do with the um, film to see if the iron's hot enough. Take off a bit of backing, get a piece of film, make sure it's not the sticky side onto the iron, so it'll stick to it. Just, just turn it on like that. And it's just, just wriggling up a little bit there. It's not going crazy. It's not curled up into a tight ball, but it has tightened a bit, and not tightened, it has wriggles a little bit so that's a probably a good place to start it'll tell you in the instructions but come in a bit there because that has to go into the fuselage so i'm going to come about there 
And I'm going to put a little, keep the iron off the film because you don't want to shrink it yet. Okay, and the beauty of this coloured film is it sort of goes a little bit darker when you put heat on it. So you can actually sort of get a rough idea of um, the amount of that it's stuck and exactly where. It just goes slightly darker orange in this case. So that's there. So I'm going to go a bit in the middle, just gently pulling it. Very gently now. I'm not actually pulling it. I'm just making sure it's as flat as it wants to be. Again, don't get don't get the iron on anything other than the edge you're doing for the moment. with that I'll go back and go halfway between where I've already gone this bit's a little bit trickier because it's I oh, think you can see because it goes up over the top there <coughs> excuse me over the top of that so what I'm going to do is just to get it actually into that corner like that And then I'm going to do the top. I can trim off anything that I need to that's going to inhibit it sliding into the fuselage. Right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go around the edge now and seal it all the way around. Again, keeping the iron off of the this bit here, just doing the just the edge. lucky what was I just saying any little tiny bits left over get rid of get them off the board because they will find um, their way to sticking onto you right in the middle of the panel where you can see it there are ways around it such as sticking a sticker over the top Jeff in lower Alabama sticker would be very good for that hi Jeff right take a look at Jeff's channel if you're not a subscriber, if you are interested in nice flying from sunnier climes most of the time. For me, this is um, so satisfying to turn a blank piece of paper into a 3D structure. So there's a couple of uh, little wrinkles there, but they will come out when you tighten it, which I'm not going to do yet because it'll warp the structure. Again, I'm just supporting the structure underneath so as I can press against it a little bit. This piece will be even more challenging because it's got all these different curves. But we enjoy a challenge. Oh yes, Cliff. If you really mess it up, guys, you just heat it all up, strip it off, and have another go. So it, it's not going to be really the end of the world, but you always do it a little bit better than you think you're going to. I think that bit's got to be equal both sides. So do that there. There's a surplus of fabric there, which I might be able to sort of take sideways and lose over this side, but only to a certain extent. Too bad. Where you get the overlap, it goes dark, darker because you've got two layers of the material, the film, so you will have like a darker edge, which is quite attractive actually. Oops, I am getting some overlapping wrinkles here, but don't think I can avoid it. And I'm sure I saw it on one of Leonardo's planes, actually. Lots of wrinkles on the leading edge. Be careful where you put the iron. You don't want to melt a hole through your wing. Now, stuck all the way around. I've got to heat it out. 
this is going to require the hot air gun because there's so much needs to come out of it. I can't heat it evenly enough with the iron. But you want to do evenly both sides as well. And knowing that the wing has already got a slight upward bend, I might start just here at the bottom. We'll see how we get on. Stop there a minute. Um, the other thing you'll notice is there were two things to point out. One, I've got the reflection of the window behind the camera and I can see that there's a little wrinkle there, a little wrinkle there, wrinkles here. Um, so it's a good idea to make sure you've got a good light source that you can see what you're doing. The other thing that will happen is as the wing heats up inside, it'll tend to uh, shrink this bit as well to a small extent, especially if it's a, a quite a narrow wing. But I'm going to let that gone quite nicely I'll I'll go up back over the little bits that aren't done afterwards for now I want to do the opposite side yeah quick little chat I'm trying not to heat up the edges too much just a small amount and come away again that's looking very nice it's still looking reasonably flat, which is that slight upward curve, which is okay. Uh, a little bit of tightening up to do here, which I'll do now, and then I'll move on to this area. Keep it moving. So there's one done. So let me do the other wing and possibly the tailplane and we'll see you later. Oh, good fun guys. Yeah, there we go. Sorted, wing number two done and it's got a lovely dihedral bend but it's not twisted, that's the thing. So I wanted more dihedral and I got more dihedral. Uh, so there we are. Okay guys, what I've done is covered the wings, covered the tail, banded it on i've got a little bit of lead weight in the front and i've got it balancing about on that forward main spar well underneath it anyway um and i'm going to go out in the garden i'm going to try and test glide it so let's give it a go i think the wind's coming from do the finger test i think it's sort of in front but okay let's just I'll try and throw it low down. Here we go. Let's <laughs> get limber up my arm so I get a nice clean door and be tense. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh my word, that flies fantastic. That caught me out. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, did you see that? It looked slightly, to me, slightly tail heavy. It looked like it was about to stall. Can I move that lead slightly further forward? It is only slight. Let's try that. <laughs> okay, here we go. A little bit more of a throw and... Ooh, ooh. Oh, yes. Didn't that look good? Okay, and that's fair to say, from the smile on my face, I'm really happy with that. That flew fantastic. So let's go in and uh, move on to the next stage. Ooh.